Okay, part six, episode two, Starve for Help, season one, as two. Let's get it. I was playing it before though, but uh, uh, my controller didn't uh, uh, didn't work. So, because you know, it was it, it was going like an autopilot. I wasn't, um, uh, you know, choosing my uh, my options, and I, I didn't. I, didn't I, I don't want the story to go like that. So, let me go. Open the goddamn door! You can't keep us in here. Open up! I will tear you fuckers hey, apart with my bare hands. We gotta find another way out of here. Yo, sick fucking bastards! Open this door, goddammit! I will knock the goddamn Dad, door stop. down! It, it was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. The rest of us did, goddammit! If you hadn't dragged your feet... Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. It away. What happened? What happened? The man hit you. They threw us in the meat locker. Lee, we gotta get out of here. If they so much as touch my family, I'll kill those sons of bitches. Get us out, you sons of bitches! Dad! This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. You're, you're worse than the walkers! Dad, please! Don't give up. We're gonna find a way out of here. Can I help? Sure, honey. You keep your eyes open for exposed screws or loose panels. Anything we can pry away to open a passage out of here. Okay. Please settle down! I'll, I'll rip your goddamn heads off and, and make you swallow them! I don't want to know what kind. Come on! Try yourself, coward! Dad! Shelves are pretty sturdy. We could climb up. Uh, but there's no way out through the ceiling. Marvelous on the way! Let us out now! If you wanna live! That is not gonna help! Could there be a hole behind these pallets? No such luck. They're not gonna open the door! You you think a fucking apocalypse gives you the right to chop people into meat? And <sighs> you said I'll, I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get uh, uh, <sighs> Easy! Save him. Lily can still save him. I wish she could. Believe me, I do. But that man is dead. You both no, know what happens next. We could kill Luke him, but now. Back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on, we know this guy's not going to make it. Remember what Ben said. We gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee! I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Yeah, let's help Lee! Him. Is he breathing at all? No. No, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. He's gonna do stupid? it anyways. He's gonna turn! What? You're putting all of us at risk, you son of a bitch! Three. You're fucking worthless, Four. Lee. Five. Wow. No! <laughs> Kenny, what the fuck? I'm so sorry. 
I just... It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! <laughs> so, okay? Oh, okay. Okay. Is it over? Uh. Yes, for now. But we still need to find a way out of here. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? Getting out of here. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we gotta have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. Look, if we're gonna survive this shit, we got to work together. How do you expect Lily to work with us after what she just saw you do? If she wants to live, she'll work with us. If she doesn't, then the hell with her. Health. Um. Anyways, he's dead. He was talking too much, too. I mean. He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. I'm sorry, Lily. I truly am. Larry and me. We might not have got along so great, but I know he would have done anything to protect you. He was a good father. Bash his brain. Oh. I'm sorry, Lily. Anyways, uh, back to this. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. The air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi tool. Right. Yep, you have of the multi tool. They took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. Hmm. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh -uh. these screws, the AC should come down easily. Right. If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. It's not coming off that way. Listen, I need a coin or something. It's important. It could get us out of here. Well, I got nothing. You got nothing to I know it was necessary, but I just wish Clem didn't have to witness shit like this. I worry what it's gonna do to her. Need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here, but I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn. Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. 
What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. Yeah, get some coins. All right. Yeah, we're back. Okay. Now we're gonna pick the pockets. Larry. Oh boy. And Larry ate uh, the hole. Any what? idea which pocket he keeps his change in? It's part of the brain too. Huh. He still carried his wallet. Here we go. Two quarters and a dime. Two quarters and a dime. Don't be touching something else, boy. Just gotta remove these screws Pulse. and get this unit off. Pulse. Okay, yeah, let's do it. There you go. This is Georgia. Huh. Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. <laughs> Better watch your tone. Well, there's our way out, Lee. The encouragement I can't feel. We don't know what it needs. Uh, it's too small. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. It's too small for us to fit through. I can do it. I know you're brave enough. I'm scared. Remember the treehouse? You held out for days. And I saved your life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. There you go. Are you okay? Did anyone see you? No, but there's a man outside. Where the hell are you going? What do you care? Kenny! Kenny's acting like a bitch. Lily, I'm sorry. We gotta go. I know. I just need a minute to say goodbye. Hey, we're good. Okay? Yeah, this is good. Shit, he's gonna get us all killed. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. Get a weapon or something. Shouldn't have sent Clementine through there. This room would give anybody nightmares. Radio. Oh. 
Outside the barn. Oh shit! Just guarding the place like you said. Well, quit sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Pick one to keep and kill the rest. And I pick which one to keep alive. Not the kid. There's enough meat on the trail. <laughs> oh, I know, Mabel. This is my face out too. When I let one think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even look down. Take a look through the cracks. That Larry is a bitch. He didn't do shit. You're a bitch. Didn't do nothing. No! Wake the fuck up. You gotta go. Understand now, don't you? He can have me. It's how the world works now. Give part of yourself so others can live. I should fucking kill you right now. Cannibalism is not the answer. Aren't the walkers eating enough of us? You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it! You're already tainted! You ain't gonna kill me! Just like he didn't kill Jolene! You don't have what it takes! <laughs> Fucking coward! This is not how the world works now! You won't make me kill you! 
Grab the gun. Go. I'll cover you. Just stay here and keep Clementine safe. I'll be right back. Laser? He's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed him to us. Jesus, that's sick. They've still got Duck and Katja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kitty is. All right, we're coming in to help. No, if we storm the house, we'll cause a panic. You two try to find a way around to the back. I'll head to the front. You got it. Come on, this way. Wait, are you sure? Yes. No. Yes. Huh. You want to use the front door? Yes. Andy? Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? Yeah, it's me. I didn't hear what you said. I'm coming through, all right? Please, please don't you take another step. Brent, come on now. You know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. About what you do. It doesn't have to end like this. I'll kill her, Lee. Just let me go. Good. 
died, then the other guy, Kenny, is gonna be pissed off on me. Well, it's not like I care though, but I don't want the uh, the girl to die. What's her name anyway? I forgot her name. Her. I don't want her to die. Not because of Kenny is gonna be mad at me or Larry, whatever is his name. His name is. Does the mom right there? She turned. Hey Lee, I'm sorry for leaving the motor in unattended. I never thought a laser pointer would be the thing that saved our lives.
You probably should have stayed. Let's just hope the place wasn't overrun in your absence. Were they really chopping up people? For food? Yeah. And Clementine almost ate some. Man, that is sick. Clementine, she doesn't know, right? She didn't see or... I stopped her. This fucking world now. It's hiding just unspeakable shit at every turn. Ugh. Were you guys able to salvage anything good from the dairy? Not really. St. John's took everything I had before the place got completely overrun with walkers. Oh, I was able to grab a couple of your things back while uh, Brenda wasn't looking. It doesn't work. You have any use for it, Doug? It's just a basic camcorder. The save lot's cheapy. Let me check it out, see if I can get it working. <clears throat> How are you doing? I'll be fine. Just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? You murdered Larry. Fuck you, man. You're alive because of me. Why didn't you have my back? I saved your wife and kid. No, I saved them. By making sure Larry didn't kill us. I couldn't do it, Ken. Well, maybe we should stay out of each other's way for a while. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, are those bad people dead? We didn't kill them, so I don't know. They might have been able to get away from the walkers, but I'm sure they won't be coming after us. That's good. Hey, Dad, what's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers. Hello? Maybe we can grab this car and move on. Figures. No gas. Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? What if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? Um... Right, we shouldn't take this. But there's no gas anyway. I mean, can we just take a little bit? Let's just take a little bit. Come on, yeah. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but it's not about right and wrong anymore. It's about survival.
Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. Supplies? I'll take it. More food in here. Got a box of food here. I'll carry it. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. We're not like the bandits, honey. We didn't hurt anybody to get this. Understand? I guess so. Someone's coming? Here, Clem. Want some, uh, batteries? Hey, Lee? You know that camcorder? I got it working. You might want to see this. Huh, yeah, let's ch check it out. Sweetheart, we won't let them bandits get you, will we? No. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I'll find thinking it, I'll you're safe. You know. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you gotta be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. People who took. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. So... so, so. This place is done. It's time to move on. Screw it. Not like you ever listen to a damned word I say. Is this Relax. all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases at all, but it's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her dad. I did what I had to, and you know it. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. You're so full of bullshit! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort all this out, all right? We can sort this out! I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! You see it. Uh, what is it? I think I did better now. Chop David's legs off. Interrogation. You and 60% of players have damage shooter. <laughs> right. This one. You and 50% of players didn't help. I didn't help. Revenge kill both of the Sun John brothers. You and 60%. 61% of players didn't kill both. Both brothers. So Bible stole food from the car. You and if you want to stole food. I mean, pretty much, you know, if, if there was people like need that, need that, uh, not that food, they wouldn't leave it right there. You know what I'm saying? What, what, what? You got to think about it. Who's going to leave a, uh, food, food there? It's not like the people who left it there just going to come back and get it, right? So. It could. There's a. There's a. Uh, 
slightly changed but um yeah that was the end of episode two uh, this is part six okay season one the walking dead with us too uh, let me know what you think about this uh, this part okay anything you want to say put in the comment box Tell me where I effed up. Tell me, you know, tell me what, what, what should I have done. I'm saying, I'm another right here. Shout outs to uh, the supporters, Lovio Pulse. And I really don't want to use bad language, split, split, explicit words, but uh, sometimes I gotta say what I gotta say. And I'm saying, I gotta get it out of my chest. So, yeah. Right. Catch me in the next one. That would be episode three. I can't wait. Let's get it.